Hi. Hello, Fang. Hi. Hi, this is Jay Michaels. Who am I speaking to? Hi, uh, we are, uh, I'm Fang and Grace. I'm Grace. And, and Yanzi, yeah. two of my actors. Mm -hmm. Terrific, terrific. Well, if I'm on the line, you're on the air. Welcome, welcome to the Passion Pit Podcast. How are you all? Hi. We're good. Yeah, Hi. we just finished our rehearsal. You, you all said that in harmony, too, so I'm sure the rehearsal went brilliantly. Um, how's the show going? You, you open next week. How's everything going with it? Yeah, it's very great. So we are very exciting. Excellent, excellent. Tell our, tell our listeners all about the show. It's called American Dream. Uh -huh, uh, yeah. Tell us all about it. Um, so uh, the idea of the American Dream, well, of course, obviously, because uh, this production is all uh, – uh, we are all foreigners cast. We are all international artists. So uh, we definitely want to like uh, put this um, topic into our show. So we want to talk about uh, all the mutual feelings that all like foreigners shares when we first uh, move into this city and like how uh, what we met in our lives all those obstacles and challenges and also those um, culture differences like maybe sometimes language barriers or like just the different things of like different culture people do so we put all those little things into our show, and then we uh, create two uh, very different, but they are both uh, foreigners' characters, and um, that how they interact, how they met each other, and um, how they support each other in uh, this whole journey, and then uh, into a like better result at the end. So, so you two is sort of you, you've sort of taken all of these 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 things that happen both uproarious and heartbreaking when when you come to this country and you've turned them into these two characters to to share with us. Yes, yes. that's great. And this is obviously a musical. Uh, yes. As long as you're at the duplex, of course, with that great big grand piano on that stage. Yeah, well, the the, the idea it's like uh, so. Duplex is a cabaret venue, but instead of just a regular cabaret, we are trying to make it more interesting, so we create a full storyline. So these two characters have a full journey in the show. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. What, uh, give, give us an example. What, what have you encountered? Now, now, now were, you, uh, were you both performers uh, in, in your own country before you came here? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm the, uh, I also directing and also most of the time I'm doing like a acting, play, musical theater, and also clown acting when I'm in Taiwan. Oh, that's great. Um, what was the biggest shock, if you will, funny or, or serious? What was the biggest thing? What was the biggest obstacle you encountered when you came here in terms of being a performer? <laughs> Definitely language. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About the crucial topic. And we make it in a comic way yeah. because we learn language in very special way and try to um, well, say mingle in this country and uh, try to let the American understand our. Yeah. yeah. So we also write a part in a show, like in a in a very funny way, how to learn English. <laughs> yes. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> Gorgeous. Well, if it's any consolation, I teach speech uh, at, at a college, and and frankly, even people born here have trouble with English. So, so you're on the right track. Um, <laughs> what made you do this? What what was what was the inspiration? What, what you, you you sat down one day and said, okay, we have to tell our story. Why did you want to do that? Why did you want to tell your story? Uh, I think especially like living in this city, like th this is such a big mounting pot. Like everybody just come from every different places. And um, I think it's really cool to like um, just like tell our story out to like different people so we could uh, share the feelings. And I really love how like different cultures and different people interact in our lives. So um, uh, it's really uh, about like, uh, sharing the special things of our culture, and uh, we also really want to speak out for immigrants because, like, this is a huge topic in our society. 
Uh, now, how about in the arts? Yes, in our society right now, I, I, there are a few, there are a few topics that the, the democratic national, uh, uh, debates better, uh, be, better think about strongly, and this is definitely one of them. Uh, uh, what, 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 do, what, how do you feel in the arts? Is there, is there a more welcoming feeling? Do you feel, uh, how is it to be welcomed by, by artists here in New York? We know it in, in this country and whatever as a, as a main topic. How is it in the arts? Um, I'd say, uh, to me, it's, uh, really more welcoming and it's just getting better uh, each day uh, so I've been in New York for we, we all are in New York for about like between two to three years Good. and we have seen a lot of changes made in the industry yeah but uh, we also included in our topic like in our show the very main thing is that we talk about love and relationships and support and I think this is the key of like to bring everybody together, like more understanding, more love, more compassion. That is terrific. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. So I'm glad you feel that that more in the arts. Now, you have one performance uh, on, on, on uh, 24 hours before Independence Day. How perfect. Uh, yeah. You have one performance. Are you looking to take the show further? Are you looking uh, if, if it goes really well? Are you looking to, to continue it? Yeah, totally. Um. Because, yeah, we actually thought about, like, doing it on uh, July 3rd. It's perfect because it's called the American Dream. It's one day before. And we just can't do it because it's, like, within the holiday. So we have to do, like, a day before. Oh, of course. And, yeah. And um, right now it's, like, we just, like, kind of, like, uh, have an idea of, like, creating this thing. Uh, it's just a very beginning. And then during the process, we, we just really find that this is such a great topic to explore, and then there's so much more to develop through the process. So we really hope that uh, we have uh, audience uh, to feedback so that we could, like, refine it and bring it to another level. There, there's the big question, audience. How, I, I'm sure you've been telling people about this. I've been, I've been spreading the word on it also. Uh, what have been people's reaction when you tell them the story? It, it, you have the very funny catch line there. You have uh, the story of two crazy poor Asians, uh, <laughs> which, which, is, which is exactly like, which is the opposite of the movie that was, that was out for a while. Um, what, what's been the audience reaction so far? What have they said when you told them the story of what you're doing? Um, very funny. Yeah. Fun, yeah. funny, cool. Yeah, the title. Like, Interesting. Them. Yeah. <laughs> Good. So everyone, yeah. everyone's interested. Oh, I'm really glad to hear that. Now you're now you're part of a major company. Uh, what the the production company handling this is is a is a real power player. Tell tell me about the company itself. Mm. Um, Maya, also our producer, she, she's not here, but um, uh, she's so great that she um, had this uh, vision and then she started this uh, production, uh, this organization called Alliance of uh, Alien Artists. So it's basically all international actors and actually artists, artists. performing artists um, uh, that are in this organization, uh, definitely to help uh, to support each other. And uh, she also trying to like gather a lot of information, including like, you know, like what we struggle most, like visa informations and like uh, how do we deal with our um, personal situation in, the, in order to live in the city and work in the city. That's uh, basically the most thing that she do. And she also produce shows and stuff that feature um, like star stories or like topics uh, related to uh, international artists. Oh, that's great. So, so it's not just a matter of putting on uh, uh, wonderful works by, by international artists. It's, it's, it's a matter of making sure you guys have a welcoming feeling to come here and to be able to stay here. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's excellent. I, I've, I've dealt with so many artists from other countries who, who come here and they need, they need particular permissions and visas and everything, and it's so difficult. It's great that there's, there's a, a place for the artists to do that. I think that's really terrific. Uh, what's next for both of you? What, uh, what, once this, once this happens, do you have other prospects, uh, uh, that you're looking at, other shows? Yanzi? Oh yeah. Um, now um, I'm applying for my artist visa right now and waiting for the result. And uh, um, basically, I'm trying to um, um, create more story about um, Asian or we can say foreigner deal with life in America. Mm. 
so probably we'll develop more things about this topic we'll develop or I, we will create more story more um we can say musical or play about this topic so we can do it again and again and oh, try that's great. Yeah, yeah we can do it again and try to it's just about create new work so so this could become an ongoing series you can say that ah yeah. oh, that's great ah oh. The music in it, uh, uh, is it original music? Is it, uh, uh, your, our, our good old fashioned standards? What, uh, what kind of songs do you have in the show? This is one, uh, cool thing that we do in the show. We actually use a lot of different, uh, kind of music that, well, we are all musical theater, uh, education background. So, um, we mostly use musical theater songs, but we have like Cole Porter, Irving Berlin, those standards. Oh, great. We- classical musical theater we have contemporary musical theater we also included songs from like crazy ex-girlfriend the tv series and we also have pop songs we're singing alicia keys and bruno mars (laughs) oh that's great so so you're giving us a whole cross section of 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 the american songbook and contemporary and pop music how how ironic that uh that these international artists are coming here and they're giving us our good old-fashioned tunes oh that's great Oh, that's wonderful. How, how's, uh, have you rehearsed at the duplex yet? Yeah, uh, yeah, we, uh, we have, uh, products in there twice. We just came out from there. Yeah. <laughs> the duplex is historic. It's been around forever and they have those, yeah. pi- those pictures on the wall of, of some of the more famous people. How was it to walk into the duplex and in the village, especially now during, during Pride Week? Wow. How was it to be in there? It's it's so exciting. I really have to like shout out for Duplex because um, they are such uh, welcoming places for us artists to like put on our um, own show. Yeah, our own show. Like what we are trying to do, they are um, very nice to work with. And it's I love the places that uh, it's it's not too small. It's just perfect size. It's uh, it's intimate. So like we we can interact with our audience perfectly. And right now, if you go to that area, it's very, very exciting. You see, oh, yeah. there's so many people around and all the ca- decorations. It, it's the vibe. You actually feel the, the love and the support. It, it's a lovely community right there. I was, I was down there a few days ago for, for, another, for another show that was opening up. And you, you could feel the energy in the air that just yeah. walking in the street there, it's something special for you. Yes. That is terrific. That is terrific. I can't wait to I can't wait to see what happens with the show. I can't wait to see what goes on with this. And I I'm thrilled to hear that your organization is is doing what it's doing and helping so many people. Ladies, yes. thank you so much. You you finished a rehearsal, so you're probably exhausted. So I'm going to let you go. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for this interview. I'm going to I'm going to tell all our listeners exactly how to get to see you guys and, and to just cheer you on and welcome you to the arts, to this country, to the whole works. Thank you so much. Thank you so, you much, so much, Jay. Thanks. I will talk to you soon. Ciao. Ciao. Bye. Bye.